uh, unusual mind, very inventive. Mm -hmm. He just completed a movie, Uptown Saturday Night, and he'll soon be seen on the Martin Luther King special, which airs on January 24th. Would you welcome the uh, very inventive Richard Pryor. Oh. Richard. <laughs> Hello, hope I'm funny. <laughs> uh, I, I used to do stuff that was interesting because uh, I'm from Peoria, Illinois, and it would get kind of dull, and I'd go and hang out with the winos on Sundays because <clears throat> they knew everybody, you know, uh, especially they, they would speak to anyone, you know, Dracula, anybody. Hey, boy, where'd you get that cape? You live around here? Who's your people? <laughs> Why don't you get them teeth fixed? Blood dripping all out your mouth. Why don't you take care of yourself, boy? Either I'd go to the bars and watch fights. People love to fight when they get drunk. I, I used to watch them. Especially, they always want to fight Allwell. Allwell was a friend of mine that fought the police. I knew he was bad. <laughs> right, because the police would do anything to you, right? You know, they move along, stop having so much fun. <laughs> Well, would stop that. Hey, man, don't push me with no stick, Mr. Officer. I'm all well. Six foot five, weigh 235 pounds. Bring fire out my chest. I know you understand. You understand? Now, why don't you call downtown and ask about me all well? Remember last summer when the 15 police come got that and four or five of them got messed up? That's me. You mess with me, I'm gonna bite you on the neck. And you always go to bars. When the guys get drunk, they started fighting. Some dudes would really get weird and want to fight women. <laughs> right? They always want to fight the women, right? The guy, say, man, what you mean we can't have another drink? <laughs> well, we done spent money all night, chump. Tell me nothing. Don't hold me, man. Give me a drink, baby. Get a, ever, get a beer for the house. <laughs> One beer. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you, ugly woman? <laughs> well, ain't nobody messing with you. Turn your face around. <laughs> I'll knock you. Who are you, chump? I don't care if that's your mama. <laughs> Wait a minute, baby. You done hit me. Say, man. No, don't hold me, man. Don't let me go. Don't nobody hit me, baby. Don't nobody hit me and get away with it. Well, do something, baby. <laughs> you don't kick me in the man. <laughs> don't nobody kick me and get away with it, baby. Please help me. Roll down the window, please. Put it up. It's too much air. Oh, Lord. I'll never do it again, Lord. Please. Oh, oh Lord, please. Don't make me, Lord. There's nothing left to throw up, please. I ain't got nothing left but my manhood, please. Uh -huh. Thank you, baby. You, my man. I'm gonna get him. Kick me. I'm gonna kill him, baby. Hey, mama. <whistles> hey, baby, open the door. Who's me? What's happening, baby? What's wrong with you? I know my breath smell bad. I've been outside in the ballroom, baby, trying to defend your honor. <laughs> You know, what's the matter? Why are you mad at me? What was here in the glove compartment? <laughs> I got that from a lady at the store, baby. My shopping bag bust. I asked her to loan me a bra for I could carry the groceries <laughs> off. <laughs> That's right. You know I love you, baby. Help me get my clothes off. I'm crazy about you, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna make love to you tonight, baby. You better believe it.
good. The great things to draw on when you're growing up, right? Because it's all true. Yes, sir. Saturday night fights. Yeah. The bar. I grew up in the Midwest, in the, in the small Midwestern town. On Saturday night, the kids from the from the farm. I live in a small town, but the kids from the farm would come in on Saturday night, and no fat on them at all, just one large bone. They would come in, <laughs> and the sun would hit them. You know, the, yeah. the neck would be all pink here, and white from then on down, and up to the arms. And it was like they'd hit you with a club. You'd say something, and it come back about this far. They were tough on the farm. I remember farm dudes. Uh, we used to have a lot of semi-race riots. <laughs> Semi-race riots. Yeah, you know, you're just fighting in your neighborhood, race riot in your neighborhood. <laughs> then Monday you go to school and wait till the weekend. <laughs> but we used to, and it used to be a big hillbilly dude. Man used to walk and was Charlie Eggy. He didn't want nobody to walk through. He said, "Hey, look, man, you walk around the other way. You understand?" I dust you off. And it was a big farm guy. I said, well, I'm just coming along any kind of way I can, just walking down through here. I said, don't you come down to him. And the cat didn't fall. <laughs> yeah. And man. the dude went, my man. <laughs> hey, is that how about, how about a drink? Yeah, you give them your best shot, they just stand there and go like that. Yeah. Let me interrupt. We'll be back. <laughs> That's your word. We'll be right back. Back. My guests are Richard Pryor, Fernando Lamas, and uh, Robin White down at the end there, Robin Hilton. Um, what was I going to say to you? Oh, I found out, and I should have known, because I remember when I first talked to Mel Brooks about the, the picture, you were one of the writers on this yeah. Blazing Saddles also. Yes, yeah, so it was Black Bart. Yeah. I hope they still keep all the stuff in it. I haven't seen it. was it. one of the most crazy scripts I'd ever read in my life. Absolute nonsense. If it comes off, it can be a very, very funny picture. Brooks has an extraordinary head for comedy. You know, the man no, well, so does this man. You know, He's a genius. Oh, he's tremendous. Yeah. In comedy, yeah. it's unbelievable. Yeah. Really, yeah. really. really. Absolute insanity. Thank you. Good to see you again. Good to see you back. I understand you were back in Washington working there and were a, yeah, I did a big concert. smash back there. Yeah, man. It was the first time I ever did a concert. And I was always scared that people, you know, wouldn't come. Yeah. So I've been afraid to do a concert because it's very embarrassing, right, to walk out. Nobody there. Four or five people. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> tends to give you security. Do you have politicians? I mean, people from in government? I don't know. Hope not. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> did you go at them pretty not heavy, too did cool you? cool to be friendly with them now. <laughs> <laughs> Good. You grew up back in, in as you mentioned, Peoria. Yeah. Peoria, Pe Illinois. Peoria. Yeah. Mm -hmm. were, were you... Thank you. Influenced, <laughs> influenced by movies when you were a kid? Lash LaRue. Lash LaRue. <laughs> Lash LaRue was a oh, man. Oh, yeah. And he used to always fight and jump up at the end. Remember? He'd jump up and knock the cats out, him and Fuzzy Q. I like Bob Steele. Bob Steele? Oh, Bob yeah. Steele was in a movie once. We saw on television, man. I don't know if we was high or what, but it looked like... <laughs> no, it looked like Bob Steele said to do. They was fighting. It looked like Bob Steele said, lighten up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Then you, you, did you play Cowboys and Indians? Uh, yes, we did. Yeah. Yeah. I was not Indian so much. You don't want to, didn't know half of I was guy comes over. Sometimes my mouth don't work. I have to do that. Yeah. Carry it through. There's no need to stop in the middle and try to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> Just go right on with it. <laughs> you got up one night, we were talking, the last time you were on the show, uh, we were interviewing somebody, and you just got up and went, hey, there you are, there you are, there you are. And sat down. My mind back. Yeah, you said you just had to clear yes. everything out once in a while. Yes, I do. <laughs> we don't have a bathroom. <laughs> How young were you when you first appeared in front of the public? I think my first uh, my first <clears throat> performance was like my uncle, my uncle Dicky brought me a bought me a cowboy suit, right, with two guns and stuff, and I was in the front yard, you know, and all the family was sitting on the porch. And there was some dog poo poo in the yard. <laughs> and I slipped and fell in it. Big screen. And huh? they started laughing, so I got up and fell in it again. <laughs> yeah. First rule of comedy. Yeah. That's your, that's, you young comedians, that's your first rule of comedy. The old dog poo poo fall. Yeah. And you, then you can it's first, in the books. That, now. It's in the books. It's dog poo poo take number one. I think yeah. there's two or three yeah. takes. Yeah. And then you progress on from there. When was your first time? I was in school, school play and did something silly, said something, and everybody laughed. And all of a sudden, you find that by doing something, usually with sounds. Yeah. When you're a kid, you do crazy sounds or uh, voices, and you find out you can get people to laugh. You can and get hooked. Can you do a sound for us? Do a well, sound. I hate to do the ones that get the biggest laugh. <laughs> uh, we, uh, we did all kinds of uh, terrible things in school, you know, but, but you find out very early that you can get reaction, and so you do it, that's all. Yes. 
Sure. So, we'll take a break here, sell something. Have you seen The Exorcist? Ah! Apparently you have. <laughs> Good, it's nice to know you enjoyed it. <laughs> we'll be right. I thought you didn't like it for a moment. Here's a word from McDonald's, and nobody explained it to me like that. Right after this message. <laughs>